Hello there everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really well. Today I'm coming to you with a little bit of a cosy setup. I've got my blanket wrapped around me, I've got a hot chocolate in hand and I thought we would sit down and film an annual video of mine which is reflecting on my 2022 goals and setting my 2023 goals. I feel like that's a little bit of a mouthful. Now I know that setting goals isn't for everyone in the new year but personally I just really like it. It helps me to stay on track, it keeps me motivated and it gives me something to work towards and as quite a naturally lazy person I feel like if I don't have a goal I'm just never going to do it. So the fact that I can say it now holds me accountable and the fact that I'm going to write it down in my bullet journal also holds me accountable and I feel like it just works really well for me. But honestly no pressure, if you feel pressure to set goals don't worry about it, we go at our own pace, we do things how we want to do them and as long as you were happy that is all that matters. So I might as well jump straight into the video but before we begin please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe down below and other than that let's get started. And the first thing I need to do is open up my bullet journal, turn to my goals page and see what's ticked off and see what isn't. So my first goal of 2022 was to start my group facilitator job. Now I know this time last year I've been waiting ages for this new job already and I did start it but I didn't start it until March the 7th so it did take a little bit of time but we got there in the end. Two big ones now which are kind of joint was get a mortgage and also buy our first home and I'm pleased to report that if you've not watched my channel before and this is the first video you're watching I am sitting in our home, our own home that we've bought and it's amazing, it feels really special, I'm so happy. That was kind of the biggest goal of last year for me. My next one was to reduce plastic consumption. And I will be honest, I think I started off really well with this. I was doing a lot in the supermarkets, you know, buying loose. I wasn't buying as many clothes. I was really doing well and although I've still stuck to some things, like I've not bought as many clothes this year at all as what I have previous years, I have really slipped on this plastic front and I feel like I've gone back to buying plastic packaging in supermarkets and I'm buying more meal deals rather than taking my own lunchbox to work. So that's definitely something that I need to improve on and take through with me to 2023. My next one was help around the house a little bit more. I have definitely improved because I do do things now on a regular basis, but I feel like I do the very surface level things and I don't often do the deep cleaning. So again, that's something that I am going to take with me into 2023 to try and continue that and deepen that a little bit. But I have given that a tick on my list because I have definitely improved this year and I have conferred that with Charlie and she does agree. So before anyone comes to me, Charlie has agreed that I do help more around the house now. Another goal of mine was to prioritise effective self-care and this is definitely something that I have done. I've stuck with all of my lockdown hobbies, like most of them anyway. I really enjoy my diamond art. I've got back into my reading this year, which we will come on to in a minute. And although I do spend a lot of time on my phone, it's quite meaningful. And I have baths now and I really enjoy a good bath. So I feel like I have made that a priority, but I would like to schedule it more into my 2023, which again, I will talk about a little bit more in a minute. Read 10 books was another goal of mine, and as you might have already guessed, I have achieved that. I'm so happy that I did. Another goal was to see family and friends more. I'm always in two minds with this because... Half of me is like, yes, I definitely have. Myself and my best friend Jess have met up most months this year. We kind of had a goal of meeting up once a month, which is which is quite a lot, but we did actually manage to do it most months. There was only like one, I think it was November, that we didn't meet up and we really did notice it. So I've definitely made more effort to see my friend Jess. Um, and she's made the effort to see me too. I have made more effort to see my family, but I do also feel like it's always me going over there, so there's only so much I can do. I do also see my dad once a month, which is really lovely. He usually comes to me. Um, so I do think that I have ticked that off. I mean, I have given it a tick, um, but it's always a double-edged sword, isn't it? You can only give so much effort um, if it's not reciprocated. So sometimes it's tough, but I have definitely made the effort, and I'm quite happy with myself. So that goal has been ticked off. Another goal of mine was to reduce mindless scrolling and I think I have just mentioned this. I do spend a lot of time on my phone, I will admit. I kind of get really bad stats from Apple when it tells you how many hours you spent on it. But I do feel like it's more meaningful now and it has a bit more of a purpose. 
So if I'm on my phone, you know, I will flick through Instagram stories, but I'll leave it there. I'm not constantly refreshing, waiting for the next one to pop up. And I was doing that at some point last year. So I have reduced my under scrolling and I'm really happy with that. And I'm happy with the amount of time I spend on my phone, even though to some people it probably does seem like a lot. We then have continue walking slash start a new fitness hobby. So in 2021, I did a fitness challenge which involved me walking virtually from Land's End to John O'Groats. Unfortunately, I didn't continue with my walking in 2022, which is a real shame because I did really enjoy it. However, I did start a new fitness hobby temporarily. So this did get a tick at the time because over the summer like towards the end of summer i started adult trampolining classes and i did continue with that right up until october so this goal did get ticked however i've now stopped doing those classes because they couldn't renew the hall availability which is a real shame because i was really getting into it and i was making good progress so although that was ticked i feel like i need to untick that kind of but then also not because i did do it but i just didn't continue with it so i'll leave that one up to you guys i've given it a tick because i feel like it was achieved at some point um but who knows some people might argue differently another goal again quite fitness related really not like me um is to go on another hike and i did tick this off and i'm so happy because at one point i didn't think i would but when myself and Charlie went to Italy, we spent a weekend in Naples and we hiked up to the top of Mount Vesuvius. It was only a short hike, but it was still a hike. So that got a tick. And then my last goal was to go on holiday or another staycation. And I don't know kind of if I had anything booked when I set this, but this year for me has involved a lot of traveling, something which definitely needs to calm down in 2023. But I've done so many staycations, I've done lots of trips abroad. I've honestly been so, so lucky with the amount that I have managed to do. So that has definitely got a tick. But those were all of my goals for 2022. Like I say, I ticked most of them off. There's a few that I kind of ticked, kind of didn't. But I do think that it's a really nice time of year to kind of look back, see what you've achieved. And I'm really happy with the amount that I achieved in 2022 and the amount of ticks on this page show that but they also don't show the whole story like i'm just happy that i managed to get through the year and i got through the year very happily so it has been a really great one and i'll never forget the memories that i've made in 2022 so i think that's about time for me to close up my bullet journal you've heard me rambling about last year's goals enough and we should move on to this year's goals apologies if the camera's just moved a little bit i just got up to take a sip of my hot chocolate and just check on the camera and I have given it a little bit of a jolt. So if things look a little bit different, then that is why. But yeah, as I said, let's have a look at my 2023 goals. So the first one, because I didn't necessarily tick it off last year, it's to reduce my plastic consumption. I've kind of separated this into goals that I really want to achieve first. And so that is on that list of ones that I really, really want to do. And I want to ensure that I'm constantly working towards. So that is up there on the top because it didn't get a tick. And it does kind of sadden me a little bit because it is an important one. My next goal on that section of the list is to complete my walking challenge. So I have already mentioned that I walked virtually from Land's End to John O'Groats in 2021. And as I said, I did not continue that walking hobby in 2022. And I was really sad about it because I got into such a good routine and I really enjoyed my walks. I think they were amazing for my mental health as well as my physical health. And so I have decided to start a new walking challenge with the same company, End to End Challenge, and we're gonna be walking backwards. So I'm gonna walk from John O'Groat to Land's End virtually. I know it probably sounds a little bit silly just doing a virtual challenge to some people, but like I say, I really feel like I need those things to hold me accountable because if I don't have them, then what happened in 2022 will happen again. And I just won't go out on a walk at all. Kind of linking on from that, I also have a goal to develop routines and in particular, I've put here exercise, morning routine and self-care routine. And I know I have touched on this already. So with doing my walking challenge, obviously I want to get into some sort of routine with walking. I also want to schedule in more self-care and I know I've spoken about this already. So I've prioritised my self-care and I know what works for me. I know how to look after myself and I know the signs of me slipping down mentally. And so this year, I think it's really important for me to schedule that time in. Just something as simple as making sure that I'm reading my book on the 
evenings because I have been letting that slip recently and I think it's been having an effect on my day to day life. And similarly to those, I would also really like to establish a nice morning routine for myself. I feel like at the moment I wake up as late as I possibly can, rush to get ready in the shower and things and run out the door with wet hair to work because I just don't leave myself enough time to get ready. But there was a time in 2022 where I got up, I read my book for a half an hour or an hour or so and I got ready at a really leisurely pace and I feel like that just worked out so much better for me and I would really like to bring that back. So developing a morning routine is something that I'm going to work on and then a morning routine video will be coming your way soon. These next few are still in the section of goals that I really want to get done and I'm going to be focused on the knees all of the time. So there's two kind of similar ones I suppose. As I've already mentioned, we've moved house and we're in our own home now. And so I would really like to progress at making this house into a home. At the moment, we're working on our living room and we've got our lovely sofa, we've got a nice coffee table. And this one little area feels really put together. And the last thing that we wanna do in here is get a media wall kind of on the wall behind you guys that you can't see. And so that is a massive goal of mine for 2023, to get a media wall. I'm just trying to imagine it next Christmas with it all cozy candles and lights on, Christmas tree in the corner. I think it will look so beautiful and really pull the room together. So a media wall is on one of my goals for 2023. I said this next goal was similar just because they both kind of involve me and Charlie, but my next goal is to get married. So something that wasn't on the agenda at all for 2022 in my head was becoming a fiance. So a goal for 2023 is to actually finalize things, get married, become a wife, so hopefully next time I film one of these videos and I look back, I'm going to be a missus. I'm going to be a wife. And there's going to be another ring on this finger, which is really weird to think about because it's really weird to have one on there anyway. Never mind another. So yeah, things might look a little bit different for me next year. And then the last two goals in this section I've actually set as financial goals. I've not really done many of these before, but this year working on my finances is something I really want to do and put a lot of time and a lot of effort into. So I want to start using some savings accounts because I used to be really good at this when I was in uni and now I just don't. I usually just spend out of one account, put money into one account. I really let my savings account slide and I don't know why because it's so important. So I really want to get on back on track with my money, have things in savings accounts, divide my money up, know what's going where, what I'm spending, what I'm not spending, what can be saved. That is something that I really want to get on top of in 2023. And then along the same lines as that, I want to save more money. I feel like I need to put a figure on this because again, it holds me that little bit more accountable. But in particular, I would like to save for a big holiday in 2024. So as part of using my bank accounts and my savings accounts a little bit more, there's going to be one dedicated for like 2024 adventures, I think. So that is my last financial goal of the year. And it's also the last goal on like my essentials list. I do now have the rest of my goals on the list of things where I would like to do them. But if I don't do them and these don't get achieved, I'm not going to be upset about it. It's just the way that it works. And the first one of those is to visit a new country. Now, as I've already said, I go on a lot of European city breaks. So I am kind of you know, going around a lot and there's a lot scratched off on my scratch map, but there are a few in Europe, well, more than a few, that I've not actually touched down on yet. And so that's something I would like to change this year. Another goal of a place to visit, which is UK based, is I want to visit a town called Hay on Wye. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly. I think I am, but this is basically known as Britain's book town. It's a massive town that's essentially just dedicated to books. There's over 20 bookstores there, all different types, and I would really, really like to go, potentially with my friend Jess, because we both enjoy reading together. So I think that's on the list for this year. It's gonna have to be, because it's been on my list for a while, and there's no reason why I haven't gone. I've got a car, I can go. I've just never really put the plan into action. So that's something that I would like to change this year, if possible. And then sticking with books, as you know, I achieved my goal of reading 10 books in 2022 and I went over it by six. And so I was really thinking about what to do for this year. But being as I've read 16, I can't exactly set it at 15. I feel like it still needs to be a bit more because I know I can do more. 
and so I've set my reading goal this year at 20 books and I will put that onto my good read so if you want to follow along the link to that is in the description below if you want to see what I'm reading what I think about it how I'm getting on with that reading challenge you can follow my good reads the link is in the description box and then if I'm sticking with numbers and amounts of things for a minute I kind of want to talk about my YouTube, my TikTok, things like that, you know, my social media. I do have a few social media goals. The main two, like, the, well, the only two, are to hit a thousand subscribers on YouTube and a thousand followers on TikTok because that would be really nice. Now, obviously, I don't make these videos for the amount of people that watch them. I really do just enjoy making them for myself. But I've just hit 700 subscribers here on this channel, which feels amazing. And I feel like if I could hit a 1,000 in 2023, it would just be so, so nice just to feel like I've got a little community of people. I really enjoy chatting to you guys in the comments of my videos, on DMs, on Instagram. And it does feel like a really small community of people that are just quite like-minded and just enjoy chatting about rubbish like this with me. And then we've actually reached my last two goals. I feel like I've kind of whizzed through all of this and just spoken really fast and blurted it out. So apologies if this has felt slightly rushed. But I am on the last two goals and again... These aren't ones that I necessarily need to do, but they're ones that I would really like. And the first one is one that I've wanted for ages, but just never done because it's quite expensive. I would like to have a non-chocolate advent calendar. One that I did get interested in this year when it was already too late is the Lush one because that was kind of just filled with bath bombs, bubble bars. So maybe that will be on the agenda for this year, but who knows? My plans and my interests and things might change completely. But I do know that I have always been interested in a non-chocolate calendar. And so 2023, December, that is something that I would really like to treat myself to. Just a little something to open every day and give me that little bit of morning happiness. I would really like that. And then we are ending the video on a little bit of a weird one. I feel like I shouldn't have left this till last. But a final one for me is to make sushi at home. I really enjoy sushi, but I am a little bit picky in terms of fish. So I like prawns, but that's kind of about it. So I do struggle when I go to sushi restaurants. Um, so I would really like to make some at home. I'd like to make my little cucumber maki rolls. I'd like to make some prawn based ones. I think that would be really nice. And we've spoken about making sushi, myself and Charlie, for the longest time. But have just never done it. So I would like to buy the supplies for that at one point. Have a little at home date night making sushi. I'm sure it wouldn't go amazingly. But I think it would be really fun. And if we enjoy it, it could be a staple meal in our house that we have every now and then. But those are all of my goals for 2020. 23. I feel like it's quite a lot but like I say it does just hold me accountable and I feel really happy with that list. Obviously it's adaptable. If I get halfway through the year and I want to add some more I can and I will share that with you the same time next year when I sit down to film this video. Do comment down below what your goals are for the new year if you've set any. If you haven't set any I'm always quite nosy and I would love to know what other people are setting goals for, what they would like to achieve. I think it's a really nice conversation to have so let's get that discussion going in the comments and other than that please don't forget to like comment and subscribe mainly subscribe so you can stick around and join me on this 2023 journey i'm really excited i feel like it's going to be a much slower paced one for me but one that really solidifies kind of my happiness and you know how i'm feeling at the moment which is in quite a good place so i'm excited to see what's to come but i've rambled on for long enough now so i'm just going to bring this to a close Thank you for watching everyone. I really look forward to taking you with me this year. And other than that, I will look forward to seeing you all very soon in the next video. Goodbye.